NetShed No. 9 has been a Gig Harbor staple for nearly 10 years, and its owner, Thad Lyman, is proud to be here. We love the location. We're not going anywhere. Lyman says he was out of town during the floods and could only hear about the damage to his restaurant in the city through social media posts and tried to direct the cleanup remotely when he heard how high the water was. So most of our electrical outlets are about, about 12 inches off, and the, you know the water came up to right about here. So uh, all of our services got flooded. Uh, that starts tripping breakers, and fortunately the, the breakers did their job. But as stressful as that was, Lyman considers himself lucky. There are a lot of houses around here that got hit harder than us. Um, and you know we have a great crew doing their job, but some of these people might not have those resources. Now that he's back, Lyman says the goal is getting the restaurant up and running as soon as possible. But that won't be easy. Lyman says the next few days will be a lot of sweeping, scrubbing, and drying. It's not glamorous. It's hands and knees and, and scrubbing and uh, wetbacks and all of that kind of stuff. Lyman says his crew began moving food to higher ground as soon as possible, but some equipment will have to be replaced. That unit over there, the condenser fan motors, they all got fried because of the, the water. Okay. They best. don't like to run underwater. Almost the best case scenario though, right? Yeah, easy fix. Yeah, great. Lyman says at the end of the day, dealing with flooding comes with the territory of having a restaurant on the water. You just have to be prepared. You can't sandbag the ocean. Uh, it's it's going to come through. We would have at best got equipment on things like dollies or up in the air, but um, you know this this happens every year. Uh, whether it happens to the extent that it just happened or it's only a couple of inches, it it's pretty common. So we just have to work through it. That's it is part of the the job. Now, Lyman says he hopes to have his restaurant up and running in time for the New Year weekend. But if you're in Pierce County and your home or commercial property was damaged by floodwaters, then the Department of Emergency Management has actually set up a reporting system in order to gather information about those damages, and you could potentially be reimbursed. Just text the keyword damage to 206-448-4545 for more information. But for now, we're live in Gig Harbor. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.